Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we're going to be doing a review. It's been a while since I've seen you guys, so I figured we'd do a review on the uh, Matrix Speed, in quotations, M203 Grenade Launcher. So, it's made by Matrix, and it did show up with the little sticker that says Made in China, so... How much were we expecting from craftsmanship? It was about, I think it sold for about 45, 50 bucks. Cause you know, you're there, you're browsing through the old Evike or the Red Wolf Airsoft or whatever on some free time. You're like, hmm, I do still have some grenades left. Mailed, mailed off a bunch of them to a friend, but I still got quite a few. And I figured, hey, we should get a grenade launcher. They're going through the reviews and all the reviews are like, hey man, this grenade launcher, it's super loud and it scares people and it's all kinds of awesome. I was like, Loud, that seems weird. So, um, first and foremost, we're gonna cover the loud part. But as you can see, we've modified it to Ultra Super Spec Ops, um, Op4, SOCOM, SOC, Speed, Awesome, Sticker Mounts, and modif Modifications to make it more awesome, because, you know, that makes it, makes the gun shoot harder and more accurate, or, I don't know, something. That's what the cool kids tell me. So, yeah, we got it modified out. It's super humid, so the sling's sticking to me. And yeah, so you, as you can see, we got this nice little trigger guard, a trigger, a safety. Um, instructions mounted directly on the grenade launcher. And some stickers, so you got a little release here. And as you can see, it actually rattles very little, which is surprising considering its country of origin. You've got these little plastic, uh, nubs here for the speed attachment. It does come with three different ones in case you have the older school A2 variants that still use, that use the ring. This is an XR16 so it just has a rail which I actually think works a lot nicer. I don't really like the little ring groove handguard setup because it's a pain to take on and off. So this is easy. Quick attach, quick release. So in case all my grenades seem to just fail horrendously and it's just too much weight to carry I can quick release it from here and be free of a grenade launcher. So I got the grenade launcher, and as I mentioned earlier, people were quite adamant about how loud this thing is. So let's test it. We've got our trigger here, so let's see. Um, a few decibels. Not a lot, but a few. So, I mean, I guess. And our slide. Eh. Well, not nearly as loud as is described. I don't think going up to someone and being like, is going to make them dive to cover or run away, so... The thinking thing to note here, though, is that being made in China, despite a lot of the outer quality, the trigger mechanism barely moves at all. So, to detonate a grenade, you need something with a flat surface. So, for our flat surface grenade of choice, we have one of the mag palm grenades, because it's got a flush button. So this will detonate pretty well. They do make the, um, oh, where is mine? The, uh, what should I call it? Do, do, do. Dirt grenade. Maybe one of the grenades that fires the caps but has an indentation here, and that little indentation, it's just not long enough. The pin, if it was just maybe a millimeter longer, would be okay, but it's not, so all we have is our little palm grenade. So, I've already moved all the BBs because we're not making that mistake again. And uh, I'm assuming when they said the grenade launcher was loud, they were referring to the grenade shell, which entirely different entity altogether, but hey, we've got some, uh, we're going to be testing it with some high bullet gas, because, um, when you're determining the power of your bullets, you should always first consult recreational drug use. So we're going to load this real quick. And it's leaking. So that's cool. That means we have a set amount of time to test it. So we're going to take our palm grenade here, pop this open, load this in like so fits nicely set it and let's see uh let's see if it fires safety is off ready well that's not a good sign it actually fell out last time so um the first problem you're gonna see is that we do not have a reliable grenade launcher again chinese quality so let's see if we can get this out without exploding on my face Okay, so the pin is indented, and it's ready to go off, but it just needs a little extra nudge. So, we're going to consult a real grenade launcher, made by S Thunder here, that has sufficiently more trigger pull. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Okay, so, what did we learn today? Today we learned that you should not trust a $50 grenade launcher. So, I actually haven't done a large number of bad reviews outside of, I don't know, maybe some Blackhawk stuff, but as you can see, this grenade launcher just isn't getting the job done. I mean, it moves nicely. It's kind of cool looking. We've got cool stickers on it that should have made it more awesome, but alas, they have failed. So the grenade launcher, it's just, the safety works. I mean, the safety is nice and crisp, so that's cool. It's everything but the trigger mechanism. So perhaps if we disassemble it and we find a way to add that missing millimeter to the uh, trigger mechanism, we'll have a functional grenade launcher. But alas, it just has something that looks cool and adds a bit of extra weight to our firearm without the added devastation. So is the good Sir Knight sad with his decision? To an extent, yes, because this means I'm going to have to go buy another grenade launcher. That doesn't suck, or start carrying around my bright green glow-in-the-dark stubby. So, um, where I guess all that's left is to try to mod it. If modding it doesn't work, then that's uh, Chinese quality for you, I guess. I don't really know what to say. I was, um, expecting it to fire, so. Sad day for all. I guess end of the story is I have a paperweight with cool stickers on it. Boo. Okay, so that's gonna end the review here, cause sadness. So yeah, I'm gonna go start trying to mod this. So if I put up a second video, probably annotated to this one, then I fixed it. And if not, it is a uh, garbage. So I would spend your money elsewhere on a grenade launcher that works. Because the majority of the reason why I like to do these reviews is so that you, oh noble viewer, do not repeat the mistakes financially that I am making every day. So, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead, upload this, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know if I can unfuck this otherwise sexy looking grenade launcher. So cheers everyone, see you in the next video.